A restaurant that many Sacramentans enjoyed over two decades disappeared, but now it's back in a different way. Hello guys, this is Tony Estigoy along with Tatiana Bedoya, and we're both luxury property specialists right here in the Sacramento region. If this is your first time here, make sure you hit that bell icon and subscribe for weekly local content. The history behind us is the 33rd Street Bistro was an original restaurant on 33rd and Folsom Boulevard. It was there for 25 years, then we got hit by the pandemic and we've moved on and now we've gone to different roads. Hi, my name is Chef Fred Haynes. I'm the owner of Bistro 33 on the go and also Wildwood Kitchen and Bar. Pandemic hit us, we closed in um, 2020 after 25 years. So as time going, we got a lot of input from the, the East Sac neighborhood and the people around that missed the restaurant. So we decided um, the boys, Victor and Luis, had a truck that we turned into the Bistro truck and we brought back the classics that we were doing at the Bistro for 25 years. Popular dishes for us were our paninis. We did our Rainier, all based off of uh, places in the Northwest. Uh, the Rainier, the Puget Sound, the Pikes Market. Uh, those uh, sandwiches have become popular and were staples for us at the 33rd Street Bistro. So we brought that concept back to the truck. Victor Cruz, who's a chef, executive chef for me over at Wildwood Kitchen and Bar, and his brother Luis Cruz, has, was also a chef for us up in El Dorado Hills. Uh, the boys and I have been together for almost 18 years. So we decided to collaborate and make this happen. Um, it's a very comfortable situation. We've worked good well together. And to be able to hang on as partners and friends for that long has been a good situation for us. People can find us on bistro33.com. Uh, we have an Instagram with bistro33 on the go. Uh, both those spots, you can look at the truck schedule, uh, see where we're gonna be. Right now we're just getting started. So we have four or five locations this month. And then we'll elaborate there also being able to do private events. We've been asked to do a couple private events. Uh, weddings, things like that, and gatherings, and I guess graduation stuff too. If you've enjoyed this video, please be sure to check out our last video, which spotlighted the R Street Corridor. And if you're looking to buy or sell in the Sacramento region, make sure you reach out to our team.